Hi guys, so very exciting today. We're going to be unboxing these parcels, which I believe are the 2021 Schleich that I have ordered. I think I've ordered two of each, I hope, because this one kind of feels like there's only one in there, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, and I've ordered two, so then I can keep one and maybe repaint the other if I don't like it. Um, um, yeah, so let's just, let's just do it. Okay, so there seems to be only one horse in here, which is really weird because on the packaging, on the receipt, it says two. But clearly there's only one. So I have to look into that. So this is the Surreya Ooh. Mustang. Oh wow, that's new. So I think I'll open them all and then I'll share my thoughts about them afterwards. Okay, so my camera stopped working, but this is the German riding pony gelding. Here we have the, oh, the silver dapple mare. Rasa Spaniola Stallion. Let's talk about this guy, the Surya Mustang. And I like him. I felt like it was a bit of a shock when I opened it because he, he kind of felt more like a collector kind of model. I don't know what about it it is, maybe because, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but he didn't immediately strike me as being schleich, but I really like, um, I really like his pose, I think that's nice, and it gives him a very free kind of vibe, he reminds me of Spirit, great film, if you've not watched it you definitely should, the paint job and the shading, <laughs> Stop messing with it now. It's pretty good. I like this bit around the mane. It's dorsal stripe. It's uh, it's a bit sloppy around his tail, maybe. But I mean, you know, I understand. I mean, the Camarouk stallion is pretty small, but this guy is of Schleich proportions. He's a bit longer than I feel. Actually, saying that, he's literally the exact same length. Okay, never mind. He's he's fine. He's good. Yeah, I quite like him. In terms of texture, he's quite he's quite solid. I mean, his legs are a little bit bendy, maybe. Maybe this is just a new plastic they've got. I think his tail is really... His mane and tail, I think, are really great. I think there's definitely an improvement in this model in his mane and tail in some of them. So yeah, I think whoever designed this guy did a good job. Definitely one of the more realistic of the newer models. Okay, so next up we're going to talk about the Silver Dapple Mare, and if I'm being completely honest, I was really disappointed by this horse, because in the pictures she looked really good, you know? She looked really in proportion and really promising, and I think from, from a certain angle, you know what I mean? That looks, from the side she looks really good. Do you see? Do you see what I'm seeing? If I put her next to Twilight, the 2004 Lipizzani Stallion, do you see how she's leaning? It's kind of hard to show on camera for some reason. I thought she would have sat there. She just falls forward. You can see the, the shading difference between these two. They no longer say underneath. 
where they were made, just says designed in Germany. But on both of them, especially this one, the paintwork just seems kind of rushed. And underneath, just no hooves. I also think that the sculpting the, of the mould on her, her feathers is really, really good. Like, that's some of the best feathering that I've seen. But there's a line here. You know, if I show you Twilight again, you can see his there. It goes up the middle of the back, it's the middle of the mould. It's completely off centre, or rather it's in the centre but she's not. And I think maybe that's what has caused her this slight wonk to the side that she's got. In terms of how she feels, it's like really really fine sandpaper. I don't know whether that's just me but... So yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that there for this video because I've been going into quite a lot of detail um, with my thoughts and stuff, so tell me what you thought of these two models and I'll see you in the next video where we'll do the next two.